Imagine a huge serpent crawling towards you and what if it is the largest snake on earth? The legendary anaconda can gobble you up alive by constricting and breaking your ribs while your body skin melts. Do you really want to take the chance? Here's what if and what would happen if you got swallowed by a massive anaconda. A man even went ahead right into an anaconda's mouth for experimenting. Doesn't that sound really dumb? When we watched the movie Anaconda, Many scientists went on an expedition to catch a legendary anaconda that was worth a fortune, and that might be the time when we were all introduced to these enormous serpents. These large snakes that roam the mysterious Amazon rainforest and Orinoco River basins can weigh over 227 kilograms. Over the years, anaconda has only earned a bad reputation as a man-eater. It's all thanks to those movies that we've seen. In the Amazonian folklore, anaconda is known as a shape-shifting mythical creature that kidnapped humans whom they fell in love with. Several photos of anacondas eating humans have gone viral, but all of those remain unverified. Since people had many conceptions about these serpents, the famous naturalist Paul Rosalie signed up for a daring feat. And this takes us to the most anticipated question. Has anyone survived after being swallowed by an anaconda? The whole process was aired on a Discovery Channel special series, Eaten Alive. Now, this wasn't something Rosalie decided out of the blue. He's been working in the Amazon rainforest for over a decade and explored the lungs of our planet for a very long time. He always wanted to try and experience the impossible. Is that man even alive? Tag along to find out. This is how it went. Rosalie spotted an 18-foot female anaconda. He wore a special suit to protect him from any damage that may happen as the snake attempts to gulp him down. Anaconda is certainly carnivorous, but they usually hunt down birds, caiman, jaguar, birds or mammals. And we didn't know until then whether anaconda do actually prefer humans as their prey. To provoke the anaconda, Paul covered himself in pig's blood and imitated it as prey. The serpent didn't, however, care about Rosalie, so he had to act like a predator for the anaconda to attack him. She then nailed him in the face, and she opened up her mouth, wide open to swallow him. The snake worked for an hour to wrap him around, and Rosalie could feel his suit cracking as the giant reptile tried to constrict him. He was supposed to be pulled out when he was still visible from outside but he couldn't take the horrible experience and was pulled out earlier than planned. But the truth is, they can't swallow humans as a whole. Well, that's really a big relief. It did sound a bit off when we thought about an anaconda swallowing a full-size human as it is. Imagine that you're wandering the magnificent Amazon rainforest and get lost in the deep forest. You end up in a giant pit with one of these huge, green anacondas. It might seem like the world has come to an end for us, and you would become a tasty meal for the giant reptile that is crawling around. Given that the smallest meal of an anaconda weighs about 18 kilograms, if we were served to them, it would be a grand feast for them that may last for many weeks. However, the truth is, anaconda isn't that interested in a meal which weighs over 45 kilograms. It would be a hassle for them to consume a taller and broader animal like us. And anaconda will be vulnerable to other predators while it's feasting on us. This may not be something they would sign up for willingly. Also, they would have to wait for a few months for the prey to be completely digested. Let's say we were lucky enough as Anaconda wasn't feeling that hungry. Still, if they're planning to feast on you, the first step would be to kill you. Anaconda is well known for two things. First, it's a good swimmer. And second, it's a constrictor snake. It kills the prey by crushing them to pulp by exerting over 9,000 pounds of pressure at once. Before we face the horrible tragedy of struggling inside the slimy stomach of the serpent, we would meet a pretty quick end. Since we've been going through the worst scenario so far, let's think in a positive light. Let's say you somehow survived and witnessed the whole process. So it would widen up the jaw to gobble you down as a whole. At least, we wouldn't be chewed into a pulp, right? Like, is that a good thing? Well, at least we were still in a single piece. Are these cold-blooded creatures venomous in the first place? We don't actually have the privilege of even considering. It's true that anacondas aren't venomous. But the darkest truth is, it can still crush and break your ribs and swallow you as a jelly. As you go into an anaconda's belly, it will be filled with slimy digestive juices, which is a total ew moment you may have not foreseen. As if that wasn't enough, the anaconda will be able to slide you down their gullet smoothly. The worst part is, an anaconda can still bend its ribs and crush you into a pulp to make you a fleshy ball that goes smoothly down its stomach. Now, let's take it that you were lucky enough to survive this rocky path and are still alive inside the anaconda's stomach. Now you would be sprayed with skin-melting powerful acids and stomach enzymes. We can as well say that you'll be skinned alive, if at all you were alive after all that. After melting your skin, the acids will penetrate into your bones and melt it like those magic sand kids play with. If you're in the stomach, how many days will it take for those acids to work? Your pretty skin would become squishy and slimy in just three days. But this is not the challenging part. When your liver and pancreas, you're good as dead. The acids are much stronger and will burn you alive. 
at least your hair and nails will be intact. Imagine that you wore the magical suit Rosalie wore for the experiment. Don't freak out when we say that even that can't protect you from all that acid. It will only prolong the process. Even if you want to pop out unharmed, it's going to take a couple of weeks and it's likely you would die from starvation by then. But are anacondas this cruel towards humans? Now what we're going to reveal might put you at peace. In most cases they aren't even interested in eating us. Let's leave these poor anacondas alone. They might look like it and all, but they are just huge which puts them in a difficult position. All they wish to do is defend themselves. Let's say the anaconda you encountered is cruel and out of the league. Even if the anaconda swallowed you, you would be long gone before you have the slimy and skin melting experience in the stomach. What we can be sure about is at least they won't pick a fully grown adult. Even if they plan to have a feast on human flesh, it's probably going to be a kid. That would be the best and safest choice for them. Luckily, Amazon rainforest is too dangerous for kids and they might not be seen in anaconda's vicinity. But this certainly is a trauma unlocked. But remember, they aren't the ones we can just mess with for fun due to curiosity. The next creature you shouldn't mess with while out the Amazon forest would be the seemingly unique and harmless blue dart frogs and bullet ants with the most painful sting. How would it be if you were swimming through the Amazon river? It sounds refreshing, but the river is a host to many life-threatening and toxic creatures. But that certainly takes us to another exciting and blood-curdling story of what if. Wow, that was insane. Getting swallowed by a giant serpent would definitely be a traumatic experience. But wait till you watch this video. Have you heard about the infamous ancestor of Anaconda? Guess the name of the huge serpent and let us know in the comment section. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Until next time, see you all.